Hello everybody, King Razzle here, and today we're going to be talking about a game that is probably going to be made, but isn't confirmed yet, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now if you guys aren't sure what Xenoverse is, it's playing in the background right now, but basically it was a Dragon Ball Z game where you could create your own fighter and you'd go through various scenarios in the Dragon Ball Z universe to correct the timeline and combat a new threat in Demon God Demigron. The game is a fighting game at heart and has quite a bit of customization for your created characters. Now this game, in many people's opinions, mine included, is one of the best Dragon Ball Z games to date and it only makes sense that they continue with the series and we're here today to talk about some things they could do to enhance the next title should that game be developed, which is very likely. In Xenoverse, I personally never had much of an issue with the amount of characters on the roster. It wasn't the biggest roster in Dragon Ball Z history, but each character felt like they had their own special playstyle, and that's what I want to continue in Xenoverse 2. I expect we'll see some new characters from Dragon Ball Super, Shampa, and Vados, I think is her name, uh, the female Whis. If no one else, and how many we see from Super will depend on how far the game is in production when the characters are announced. Other than that, I really don't care who's on the roster. I would like to see more villains, such as the different forms of Frieza maybe, King Cold, Dabura, and people like that. And I'd like to see some more movie villains, such as Cooler or Janemba, Bojack, people like that. I think more important to who's announced, however, is that they give their villains their own spotlight in the story mode. I don't want to play the same story in Xenoverse 2, assuming that they stick with the time travel thing. So the main reason I think new characters need to be added is so it gives our custom characters something different to do in the game's story. Although the bigger the cast, the better. All I really care about is that they make them feel unique in their playstyles. Now for what I think is more important than the actual playable character roster is the character customization. For Xenoverse 2 there needs to be several different customizations added, not only to make each player feel unique, but also to balance out mechanics introduced in Xenoverse 1, not the least of which is the addition of transformations for all races and not just Saiyans. This may be difficult since lore wise there's really nothing humans can transform into, and different races take transformations in different ways, but they need to figure out a better systems for transformations in Xenoverse 2 because it was extremely unfair in Xenoverse 1. Uh, the second thing they need to change about customization is to take off buffs for armor. When you add buffs to armor, you make some armors clearly better than others and in doing so, you're pretty much forcing players to wear a specific type of armor if they want to get the most out of their character, so in the next game I think this needs to be removed. More onto the actual creation of characters, there definitely needs to be more options of customization for your characters. What I mean by that is the selection of hairstyles, body types, and overall adjustments to the face, because to be honest, in Xenoverse 1, it really didn't have that many options in these categories. The second thing I'd like to see is the option to turn your key to a centralized color should you choose to. Give players the option to choose their own uh, specific color of key, and it would make your characters much more, much more personal feeling, I think. Uh, a few new races would also be nice, put androids in there, something like that, have some sort of cell race, even though that's really not lore friendly. Uh, maybe different timelines of Dr. Jero creating Cell, I don't know what they could do there. Or maybe Cell's offsprings, I guess, I don't know. But you could even make it like a cat person race, like Beerus, uh, just explain it in the story somehow. And that would be kind of cool. In addition to the new races, I'd also like to have a skinny Majin character this time around. Uh, that kind of goes with the body types. I really, I don't like Fat Boo, so <laughs> I don't really want to make a character that looks exactly like him. For the single player storyline, I was actually very happy with what Xenoverse did. I think they had a great concept, but seeing as how they kind of went through the entire storyline of Dragon Ball Z, they'll need to come up with something new for Xenoverse 2. They could still use the Time Patrol, but no one's going to want to play back through the exact same scenarios, so they're going to have to adjust it in some way to make it make sense. I don't really know how they could do that unless they maybe went into GT, but most people wouldn't be very happy about that, and Super probably won't be far enough along to make it the basis of the entire storyline, I don't think. Uh, for more technical things, I'd like to see there be a single player lobby where you don't have to have connection to the internet. You could play this in Xenoverse 1 if you had no connection, but if you were connected wirelessly or via cable, then entering the single player lobby forced you to connect to the internet, which I just found annoying. Also, probably one of the biggest ones to get rid of is the random drops in parallel quests. I can't tell you how much time I spent farming for different moves in Xenoverse. It took forever to get all the ultimates and super moves and they really just need to make it easier to obtain these items. Something like getting the bonus fight in the parallel quest could make the random drop come automatically, I think that would be much appreciated. 
Some more minor things I'd like to see tweaked is environmental destruction, which could be tummed up a bit more. Some parallel quests had you protecting NPCs who seemed to have a death witch, which was, was kind of annoying. And I'd like to see a bit more expansion in Toki Toki City. Uh, nothing big, maybe have some time patrollers who need some side quests done or something like that. Just have different interactability in the world would be nice. Something to do besides talk to your masters, buy items, and run to the next mission. Personally, I didn't play much multiplayer in Xenoverse. I played it only to get the online trophies. Yes, I'm a trophy whore, I know, kill me now. <laughs> but pretty much that was it. I have a few things I'd like to say, but mostly just balancing issues that can be changed by the reduction of Saiyan abilities and other things, uh, or giving the other races transformations as well. I've also heard that hit detection is pretty spotty, but I never knew if it was just me lagging when this occurred to me or if it was an issue with the game. I would also like to see a mode in which is dedicated to regular characters or non-custom characters only. This would give you more of a reason to fight with these characters from the roster rather than just using your custom character all the time and it would be a welcome addition in my eyes. Other than that, I don't really want items to be in there for the next game. Uh, it, at, least, at least tone down the number of items you can have, I guess. Uh, they were pretty annoying and I'd like to see matches be a little bit longer because if opponents are using items, it can make it pretty hard to get a, a KO in three minutes. So I'd like to see matches turned up a little bit. So these are just some of the things I'd personally like to see out of the next Xenoverse game, which is a pretty safe bet is coming out, but who knows when. If I could only pick three improvements, I'd have to say add a ton more character customization, make it less of an annoyance to farm for moves and gear, and then balance out the Super Saiyan transformations with transformations for all the races. Those are just my top three though, so make sure you let me know in the comments below anything that I've missed or anything that you'd like to see. But to wrap this up, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and comment with your own thoughts below. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.